Okay, record, so it's fine. Recording, yes, looks like we're recording. And so uh, you for the moment can see only my face, okay? Uh, Correct. Okay, you, you want to, uh, to remain <laughs> faceless. Anonymous? No, I don't care, it doesn't matter to me. No, okay. Uh, so it's, it's, it's just, you know, uh, the, you know, I, I, I went into this uh, truth. So just first of all, so that if anybody on my YouTube channel, on my heavily censored YouTube channel watches this, uh, this is like, uh, I want to make like updates on what happens here in Italy since we are uh, in the midst of this uh, huge experiment, which is, in my, in my opinion, worse than 9-11, you know. And, uh, you know, since 9-11 uh, uh, was something for me very fishy, you know, uh, just if you yeah. have a little bit of brain, you can understand that that thing was, uh, was fake. And, uh, and, and uh, from that moment on, I, I realized, you know, that uh, whatever exit from that uh, stupid box, you know, television, for me, it's, it's pure uh, BS and uh, uh, they do all they can uh, by controlling the culture to to keep us divided and to uh, and what as this virus you know what can be more divisive than uh, a virus where you can see the other person around you not only since now we had you know a different uh, color or different you know nationality or culture but now you see them completely like a cockroach you know someone is trying to kill you so this right. is the, the, the ultimate you know uh, d division tactics that they are throwing at us now and uh, apparently this will be a new normal because this thing will keep this virus will keep you know staying in our uh, they say in, in our uh, system and so but this is a new normal now from now on the, uh, uh, there will be a humanity before this virus and a humanity after this virus as it was a life before 9-11 and life after 9-11 so uh, it, it's terrifying in my opinion the, the evil which is so much and, and the indifference of people is so so huge that uh, uh, I, I just was wondering how come they were not uh, moving forward with much speed uh, than what they were doing because for me it was painful to live in, in a system where I, I see people so dumb you know it's like it's, it's like they were like little children you know and, and mm. And I couldn't understand why they were fooling with such elaborate plans, you know. Come on, steal the little children. It's just dumb, you know. It's almost dead. You can almost, you know, uh, colpo di grazia, not just hit us and kill yeah. us and make it all well, I mean, already. Th those Good. systems, at least the emergency alert systems, because I told you I worked with DHS in the U.S., right, as a subcontractor. Those systems have been in place, and especially for epidemics, four years for mass reaction on how to contain and how to deal with. When I was in Rome in January, uh, I know you and I were talking about that yesterday, the only people wearing masks and protecting themselves were the Chinese tourists. Everybody else was running around like, you know, nothing was happening. I think the main problem with this is, for me personally, um, do we have to have containment here in Italy? Yes. Have they overstepped their reach in taking our freedoms and how they're approaching it? Absolutely, because the containment issue, I think most of us can agree, really the problem is in the north. Like we here in the south have a very low number of cases, but we are on a police lockdown. We're told now that we can't leave our homes without auto certification, but no copy shops are open. So we can't even make a copy to get it signed so that we can leave our homes. So yeah, like you were saying, you know, the racism and all the issues that we've had with division anyway, now you have this almost third Reich type of mentality where now if you think someone's infected, even a family member, God forbid, keep them the hell away from your house and your family because now they're a weapon, right? People have become weaponized with now this virus in their system. So it will, I think, I agree with you. I think it's gonna create a division like we saw after 9-11 that now breaks us down not only in, into classes economically, sexually, gender, you know, preferences, uh, where we come from, what color we are, but now also whether we're infected or not. And so why not stack one more level of separation on top of this as the final blow to really keep us from feeling like we can communicate or have any power together, you know, as human beings. It, it is a massive blow. I agree. I think it's the beginning of, um, 
something much bigger. And, you know, anytime you see something like this, which is unprecedented, let's be clear, we've never seen anything like this in China or in Italy. This has never happened. But when you see something like this, you always have to ask yourself with a critical mind, what the hell is going on that they don't want us to know about? Yes, and, and uh, the, the sad thing for me was uh, uh, realizing that uh, after you show people, for example, uh, Building 7, you know, in real life, not just uh, here doing YouTube videos, you know, which uh, I'm censored or, and, uh, you know, people do not agree w with what I say. But after you, uh, you know, I, I've spoke with so, ma so many people the, the last, this last years, uh, mm -hmm. showing them uh, Building 7, which, in my opinion, uh, if you want proof, you know, that the, the system we're living in is uh, evil, uh, you just show them Building 7, in my opinion, and, and uh, I, I don't know how can someone, you know, rationally uh, the, come up with, a, with an uh, excuse for why the building came down. Came plane, down, yeah. Without no plane touching it. So let alone the, well, the other I, two ones, you know. I think that, the, that people in general are terrified to believe and open their minds for a moment that their governments and the people that are in office are not there on their behalf, that they're not there for their benefit. And what people don't understand is it's all business. You know, it's all corporate. It has nothing to do with your well-being. From the moment you're born into this world, you are given a number and you are sold as a commodity. Your life force is sold as a commodity on the market of how much taxes and money you'll pay in based in on how long you'll live. They've never cared about us, but I think it is that fear of if we can't trust them, then you know what does the whole world mean? That means people would have to question everything, and the general population doesn't want to do that. They would prefer to live in a system where they are constantly lied to, where they are constantly deceived in exchange for internet, cable television, a comfortable car and a pizza every once in a while. Yeah, and, and, and now they are uh, taking away also that, you know, no more basketball, no more soccer. <laughs> we don't have anything in Italy. We so, don't even have those rights. Yeah, we can't but, even get a, a flipping pizza anymore. Yeah, so, so the, for, for people maybe that have no idea what's happening here, maybe I can right. share things so, so I can tell them uh, right now, you know, I have some links here just to share quickly. Uh, if you uh, tell me if, if you can uh, right now see my desktop, for example. Can you see this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so now I'm going. So first of all, this is the uh, the main thing that they are uh, doing on us right now, which is this this image. Uh, leave the virus outside your door. Stay home. Right. Stay home. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's uh, unbelievable because uh, so now uh, the only thing which is preventing you know uh, total mayhem here is uh, some, they have, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, declare, declaring in the news and everywhere, you know, the, which are the kinds of shops that can stay open. Uh, right. Which is unbelievable. And, and there are only the essential ones we are, which gives you food and, uh, and, uh, and things like this, the, the essential uh, services. Medicine, the pharmacies, and yeah, the small food stores. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless for and, uh, you know, the, just not long ago, I did a walk, and, and I want to just quickly uh, show you. Ah, no, the, first of all, I want to show you this, this quote here. The, the, I, I don't know if you have ever seen this, the, this uh, monster here, which, which is one oh, of Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yes. In of the course. event that I'm reincarnated, I would like to return as a deadly virus in order to contribute something to solve the overpopulation. Oh, this, this huge uh, problem, you know? Uh, so this yeah. is Prince Philip, husband of British monarch Elizabeth II, uh, reported Correct. by Do uh, Deutsche Press, August 88. Oh, what a beautiful. And, but this is not hate speech, as I used to say. No, what a beautiful quote. <laughs> Don't even get me started on the British royal family that aren't British. But, uh, yeah, you know, but listen, doesn't that go back also, I mean, we can go a million directions in this, but it goes back to the Georgia Fieldstones as well. And I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia, so I know those Fieldstones well, talking about the overpopulation and how look, to deal with it. Look, look, look what coincidence. In my links that I wanted to show you, I, I just had the Georgia guy stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know so, them well, believe me. When I told you yesterday, I've been down the rabbit hole for years. I, I have been. And, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, this, is, this has been around for a very long time. I mean, waiting for a virus, whether natural or man-made, 
at this point is kind of irrelevant. But there's also the flip right. side of this, like you and I were talking about yesterday. Um, you know, there's a natural selection to this as well. So we have to be aware that there's definitely something going on behind the scenes. There's no two ways about that. Whatever freedoms they take from us now, we will not get them back 100%. It never happens. They may give us 50% of it back, but for sure after this, Italy will be far more fascist than it's been in the last 60 years. Yeah. But, you know, we still don't have enough data on this virus to know yet. So for me personally, with that being said, I'm, a, I'm honoring what the government's telling us to do just because and out of respect for the elderly here and people who already have a weakened health condition. I can't, you know, imagine any reason why I would need to possibly pass any infection just to be able to extend my rights a little more. Because at the moment, I'm not feeling as pressed, at least here in the South, I'm not. Now that, that could very well change, but there, there's definitely some backward movement on this. My husband and I were talking about it the last couple of days about how ironic it is that the countries that have been hit the hardest were the countries who went against the U.S. on the trade agreement. And I'm sure you already know that because Italy signed off that they would not um, stop trading with China. And so, you know, Iran, all these countries, and now we're all nailed. South Korea as well. Uh, South Korea had sided with the Chinese and, you know, they've taken a, a major beating with this virus as well. So there are some things there that can be viewed as coincidence. But, um, or as primers, yeah, as the, you will. The, the only thing, you know, um, I'm, uh, I'm more and more convinced that uh, there are no countries, in my opinion. Uh, people, all this Chinese president, these puppets that they put in power, Trump, you know, the Russian, mm -hmm. they are the Putin, uh, Putin, you know, and all these people, they are old, you know, after they switch off the, uh, the theater that they do in television with the cameras, they all uh, go in, in uh, and communicate with each other as brothers. Oh, we scared, we scared the sheep once again. Let's make them believe that we are angry with each other so that, you know, we can make them do whatever we want, you know? And so no, it's an what, absolute. They, they, this is what they've done with humanity for, for, for forever, in my opinion, because it's, uh, it's the only way to, uh, to keep the sheep, you know, uh, you have to, to always invent a threat, uh, uh, something which will keep them, you know, terrified. We'll and keep uh, them in line. In line. Well, and, you know, it's, and that's it because religion is failing. I mean, you know, people have woken up so much that, okay, and I'm not bashing religion. So for anybody who's religious, I'm not disrespecting your beliefs. However, the controls that that had on society are also breaking down because many more people are obviously believing less and less. So they're always coming up with new ways to keep us, yes, in the dark and keep us in control. My father always said, uh, we're like a bunch of mushrooms. They want to keep us in the dark and feed us bullshit, basically, which is the truth. It, it keeps us quiet and it keeps us um, working. We're worker bees. We're like ants. You know, it's just for their amusement to some degree, for sure. So, now, why we're fueling, sorry. why we have to fuel their egos and their desires and their wallets, for me, has always been the real question. What is it ultimately that they want at the end, even if you say, you know, to dominate everything. But what, what is it exactly that they gain from that? I mean, that has always been, I guess, the deeper question for me. Okay, so my, my, my explain, and, and then we will go exactly on, on what they don't want us to do in, in this thing here. So in, in, my, in my opinion, uh, uh, and yesterday I had the ultimate proof, you know, uh, and I don't care now, right now, I will make uh, names, uh, you know, uh, let, let's not say who exactly, but someone, in, uh, a member of my family, you know, uh, and they are known to be very dumb and very sheep-like, you know, mentality. Uh, and I told them, please, do not panic over this. Uh, they are making it, uh, whatever they say, you know, think the opposite, because they, they are masters of, of this action. But anyway, it, it's good for you, even if you are, um, you know, the placebo effect, for example, can make you... Uh, right ill or, or not ill because the brain has a power, you know, to, to influence how your body will work, you know? And so I told to this, uh, to this member, you know, I told him, him, and by saying him, I already tell who, who, who this was. So uh, uh, he, I told him, do not watch this BS and, 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 and smile and, and laugh about, you know, this uh, uh, stupid uh, TV shows that you watch, you know, like Paperissima, like, uh, like, you know, uh, what the is reality that? TV. Yeah, the, the BS that they uh, shove into people's, which for me, 
to, to, to see them watching right now in this hell of a moment, watching them and laugh, it, it's, it's right. unbelievable. And so I told him, uh, please, come on. The, when you are on your Facebook, you know, the, the, you lose so much time with your BS friends there. Can you please tell them uh, that uh, this is all, you know, the, these people lie to us. They want us to, to be vaccinated so we, we become even more dumber than what we are right now. And, uh, mm -hmm. and he told me, yes, I believe you. I, I believe you, but uh, I, I would never do that because I, I don't want to stand out of, of, of the crowd. Ah, right, okay? right, right. So, so, so well, this there's, is, there's that fear thing, though. So this is the element which keeps the sheeple uh, in check. They do not want to, to be the first one. And I can, have, I can tell you an, another example. My father, so this is what we, who we are talking about. And, and, and by my father, I'm, I'm telling you all the sheeple guys, because they are all like this. Uh, when, when I, so I'm, I'm Albanian. I, didn't know, I don't know if you uh, knew this. I came in, in Italy when I was like 11 years old, very oh. early. So most of my life, I, I lived it here. Uh, so in, in, in Albania, I lived in communism for like 11, uh, most of, for uh, 10 years. Right. Then they uh, were, you know, pushing this regime change in, in all Eastern Europe countries. And so what happened is they gave us a clue in television that which is okay to, uh, to talk bad about communism. So that the sheep would go in the street and, yeah, we want to get away with communism. Let's make the regime change. So, so they can, you know, uh, you know, uh, show. Find out who you are. Yeah, yeah. No, so you, they can portray on the television. Look, it's the people who are asking the communism to fall. But they gave right. the, the signal. And so what happened is uh, Albanians, which were very afraid because when you lived in communism, you could never talk bad about communist members uh, of this uh, uh, system that they, we, we, are, we were under. And so as soon as they got the, uh, the okay from television, now it's okay to talk bad about them. They all like very, you know, courageous went in the streets and said, let's uh, tear apart all the books of the party of the communists. Right. These guys are all uh, psychopaths. Let's uh, kill them, whatever. You know, things that just before, uh, not long ago, they could never dare to do. So that's right. why this experience tells me that I should never, never hope for, for, from the sheeple. This, this for me, uh, th this life is just a journey, uh, which is like a test. In my opinion, we are, we are being tested. Will, be, will, will we be fooled by, the, by this theater that is in front of us? Uh, it's like you do not pass the test. Uh, we can right. say, as the Christians say, we go, you go to paradise. But there's something like that. I, I, uh, it, at least for me, it's the only uh, way that I can endure this, this craziness. Because around me, there's only dumb people that fall for this. And, uh, and, and I don't want to live my life in fear, you know? So, right, right. So I yeah, I think this. nobody does. I mean, I agree with you. It's, I, I kind of jokingly have said for years that if there is a hell, we're already living in it. I think at this point, everybody's just trying to find a way to get out of it, for sure. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I know where you're coming from. It's, it's the thing where, and especially in the older generation, people really don't want to stand out. And, and I guess for good reason. You know, they're at the end of their life. They just want things to be peaceful and continue as they are because... What people know is comfortable, even if it's something bad. People find peace and comfort in what they understand, right? And that's okay. We have to let them do what they need to do to make it through this experience. But on the flip side, we do have to be really careful to watch what's going on and make sure we're calling out publicly what is going on without fear. We have an obligation and a responsibility to ourselves and to the kids and the people who come after us to make sure that we leave this place maybe a little more sane than we entered it. At least in my opinion. I mean, I feel that way because I have four kids, you know, I, I don't want them to be afraid uh, to stand up and say what needs to be said, whether it's true or not, they should have the right to be able to say what needs to be said. But it is a tricky, tricky time. I think, you know, you coming from Albania, me being American, man, our, growing up experiences couldn't have been more different. Even though in the US we're sold a pack of lies that we're free and we could not be less free if we tried really hard. I've had more freedoms here in Italy than I ever did in the US up until now, for sure. More freedom to move, more freedom to speak, more freedom to not worry. Um, although here now I'm still not worried about that issue so much as, um, I it's think- It's not I'm a craziness. Gonna, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm more worried about why we're being taken out and crippled economically as a country and as a people, because it really is targeted at us. You know, the largest tourism nation in this world, the mass producer of most of the produce, cheese, oil, and food that's still independent in the EU. We haven't, thank God, haven't had our oil taken over the way, say, Portugal has. We haven't been bottomed out the way Greece has. God love them. They've really been put through the ringer. And the next logical pick was Italy. So why us and why in the hell is our government agreeing to all of this? What is in yes. it for them? Yeah, the, when I did these walks in the mountain and, I, and I've done two that were uh, for a few days, like I, I would walk like in the Apennine, you know? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you would see how they have moved people slowly uh, with uh, all kinds of wave, uh, ways like economics, so that you, with globalization, you are unable to sell your products anymore. So you move, you, you'll sell your land. And so they, they want us all, you know, bunched up together in these huge cities, you know, so right. they can control us better. And in that way, you are dependent on them because at that point, you are just a cog in the machine. You are not, you know, working for yourself, for your food, you know. And, right. uh, and this is what they don't want us to do, you know, to be independent. They, they want us, you know, as in this state which we are right now, just to consume and to go to war, consume, go to war. It's just, you know, the, a perfect, uh, so if, if you guys are watching uh, from outside Italy, uh, think that this kind of life, which is, which, which is waiting for you, that this is what they are doing to us, you know, will come to your country as well, of course. If you like a life like this, you know, which uh, more or less uh, we were doing, uh, and, you know, more or less, you know, it, for, for me, what we were doing since now, it, it wasn't life, you know, people just, you know, destroying themselves with all kinds of uh, uh, destruction from uh, the alcohol to whatever. But nevertheless, we were free, for example, for example, I was free from time to time to go in the mountains. And but uh, right now in Italy, it's not, it's not possible to do because as I'm showing here, for example, they want you to, to have some papers. So it, it can, you can prove that you are going to this place, but uh, is this, this uh, provable that you are going to work or, or to, to get food you ship, you know? <laughs> so, now, how do you but, prove that exactly? What do you get a stamp from the Mercato that says they were here? It's, it's okay. unbelievable. It, 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 I, guess, I guess it says auto certification, something that you can prove by yourself that, yes, I'm doing this. But uh, if they check you really, if they want, you know, to are, are suspicious of you, and, and want to check that where you really going there or, or maybe where you just going out and having fun and, and meeting with other people to have fun, which is sure. not permittable, which it is it's unbelievable, guys. And well, they, it's also the fees. I mean, have you explained to them what the charges are? What's 260 euro if we get caught or three months in jail? If no. we get caught without the auto certification and without there being a valid excuse. Now, if my grandmother's sick and I need to, to go and check on her, that's not technically against the regulations right now, but it's in a gray zone. I have to be able to prove that she's ill and needs help, or I can let her die alone in her apartment. So it, 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 so, so it means, you know, it's, it's a crime. It's a crime to, if you don't, uh, if you're lying, if uh, for some sure. reason you don't uh, go out, uh, not uh, just for food or, or, you know, for, for some yeah, medication. Not forbid you step out the door to take a, a breath of fresh air, right? And, and for me, you know, I, I don't know if you uh, saw my latest video. I tried to to uh, to film me while going to the uh, to the market, and and mm -hmm. I, and it was just comedy for me. I, at some point, I was just laughing because there were people standing outside the supermarket, and and they were all standing away from each other. You know, like uh, at least two meters away, one from Good another. Lord. And, uh, and, and it's sad, you know, to, and it's hard also to find uh, something to, to laugh about it. And, and uh, please tell me uh, whenever uh, you, you, are, you have to go, and, uh, tell me and, and we can stop this. I, okay. For me, for, for me uh, you know, uh, it, it was great. 
and and I think people now that are at home and have have, have time and uh, possibility should do more and more uh, things like this because at least we can show to people because sooner or later we will be censored. But uh, at least Absolutely. we can show people that, that there is this other way to see the world. You know, not only just that fear over there that they are pushing. There is this. Well, yeah. Thing. Yeah. And that they haven't blocked our connection yet. I mean, that's the great thing. You and I didn't even know who the other one was until, you know, yesterday. yesterday only yeah. Because I sent you a message on something else, which we won't talk about here. But we have to stay connected. Like, we all need to be talking in this country to each other. Whether we agree with each other or not, we need to be talking and let them know that we're not just sitting back and eating this with a silver spoon and believing everything that's happening. We're right. questioning what's happening. If it's for the right thing, I think we can say all Italians will stand in agreement to protect our country and the people that are in it, to do the right thing for the general population. But if we find that it's not for the right thing, Italians will also infamously get up and get in the street and start raising hell until we find out what's going on. So well, the conversations are important, yeah. Yeah, I, ho I hope so. J just quickly, you know, to, uh, so that we, uh, just quickly, I did this one minute video. Uh, this sure. is uh, Sandy Hook in a nutshell. So the, just just to show you with who uh, we are dealing in television, you know, Robbie with these actors. He's going to come out to the microphones now and make a statement, uh, just like the family is there, and they're getting ready to make uh, to come to the microphone. So we'll listen. Sorry. Okay. Brilliant. And again, this time I won't laugh. Exactly the same. I won't laugh. I promise. Okay. And they're getting ready to make uh, to come to the microphone, so we'll listen. In. Here you go. He's, he's six this years old. This is the guy from Sandy Hook. Right. Yeah, sir. Okay, That's the guy from Sandy Hook. Okay. From the Sandy Hook shooting. Yes. Okay. I remember that very well. I I um, <laughs> watched a lot of that where they were just yeah Look he's smiling that. and happy. He's yeah. like, oh, are we rolling yet? Look at me. Yeah. I'm, I'm super happy. Tell me when to look sad. Go now. <laughs> yeah action right it's it's absurd now the circus i mean i can say that from working in television listen i've worked in reality television and the news and i can tell you that it is all just beyond which is why i don't do it anymore okay so it's crazy yes so and in my opinion uh all kinds of news that we see in the news uh they are chosen for a purpose which is always to divide and to confuse people Never to tell Absolutely. us. Never to tell us. You know uh, what is really going on in the world, so that you can, you know, rationally. They they are uh, uh, taking you to the way they want, and so that's why they present to you uh, uh, the, this uh, the, this news. These are news that are uh, uh, um, produced by them. And so, did you know, for example, that Tom Hanks also now? So n now that we saw this actor, but, uh, mm -hmm. what? Here. Tom Hanks, Rita Wilson, test positive for coronavirus. The SAS so come on, come on, you must believe this, man. I'm telling you, I'm an actor, you know, which I'm, right. I've worked for, to tell you lies in the movies for, for the elite for uh, time and uh, for years and years, you know. And now you have to believe right. me because, look, if he said this, look, he will say to you, please do what the doctors say. Uh, hello, folks. Right. Uh, Rita and I are down here in Australia. We felt a bit uh, tired, like we had colds, and somebody uh, ate us. Uh, Rita had some chills that came and went, uh, fever too, uh, to play things right as it needed. Were, huh? We were tested for the coronavirus and we were fine positive. Well, now what to do next? The medical officials have protocol uh, that must be followed. Uh, we, Hanks, will be tested, observed, and isolated for as long as public health and safety requires. Not much more to it than one day at a time approach, no? Wow, what a great... You know, this well, is if he's doing it, then we should all do it. I mean, yeah, he's he the perfect citizen. To, he gets paid to bullshit. Do you, I don't know why anybody listens to actors, I swear to God. These are people who get paid to, to live in fantasy land and pretend and lie and bullshit and act like something they're not. Why does anything they have to say seem even remotely legitimate? Mm. Remotely, I don't get it. But yeah. that's crazy. But I guess if Tom Hanks is doing it, then there you go. The rest of the world should pay attention. Let's all forest gump our way into quarantining <laughs> ourselves. 
So, so, so just so just that I close now, and and then if you have anything, just quickly to say at the end. So the, the, this was when I did this walk in uh, in the mountains of Italy not long ago, like one or two two years maybe ago, uh, Camino di San Benedetto. Uh, and I remember I I, I slept at, at this uh, uh, beautiful people this in uh, a thousand meters high near Norcia. Uh, mm-hmm. or uh, something like that. But anyway, this was a farm. They had animals, and I told them, "Can I please film the the animals in in the farm that you have?" And and this guy was very friendly and and showed me all the place. And uh, and look what happened here. Here he will show me where the sheep were staying in that farm. And uh, and, and and listen to this, and then I will translate. Okay. And yeah, so. So, so, so I'm slowly adjusting my camera because it's all dark there. There are these sheep there. And, and mm. it, was, it was day, but they were staying inside. And, 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 I, hmm. and, I, and I asked him, how come they are staying inside? That's weird. And, yeah. and, and he told me, yes, we have to keep them like this closed because we have to give, give them some shot today. And, and so, oh so that, <laughs> that's why I, I'm showing this, you know. Because right, it, yeah, that's relevant. It, it, it's... It's exactly Okay, oggi oggi faremo un trattamento, quindi rimarrà This is exactly what someone to ask her. Today you will not access yes. sheep because you have to, to, to be treated because you are ill. You are sick. Benvenuto in Italia, no? So, you know, mm. here in Italy, people are so dumb that you can do them with them whatever you want. With anything, this is coming yeah. everywhere, so. It so. is. You know, back, I, I told you yesterday that I worked in Hurricane Katrina and, and wrote a book after that. And one of the things that bothered me the most, and I haven't worked with the government since this, um, was that they were forcing a mandate of vaccinations on the people that were stuck in New Orleans. And, and the people kept asking, what is this for? Some of them, like tetanus, okay, that that was a given because there was a lot of metal and infection in the water and people had cuts. But when they mandated that everybody take a Gardasil shot, which is for the papillomavirus, cervical cancer, and it didn't matter if they were two years old, 200 years old, male or female, at that point, I started getting really pissed off, right? And people would ask me, and I said, you can refuse, it's mandated, but I wouldn't take it. And they said, why not? And I said, yeah, something feels off for me. It feels more like it's a mass sterilization because we were looking at the lowest 1% of the African-American population in the state of Louisiana and New Orleans, right? So it was just obscene. And now also, you know, with the same vaccine with Gardasil, for any immigrant, and I know this because my my husband was looking, uh, he's Italian, to immigrate into the U.S., it's mandated for any immigrant coming into the U.S. Uh, relocating that they take the Gardasil shot. Now, please explain to me why a four-year-old little boy would need to have a shot to protect his future wife from cervical cancer, like he's sexually active. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, these, these, some of these things are just beyond me. Some of the vaccines, I get it. Tetanus, do you know what I mean? There, there are a few of them, for sure, that are absolutely rational. Polio, there are some. But... All of this obscene, like the influenza, the flu shot. There is no cure for viral influenza. The only cure for this is vitamin C in a high immune system. You can't, bacterial influenza, yes. Bacterial diseases you can take a shot for. But anything that's viral, there is no cure for it. So it beats the shit out of me, but I agree. If they can round us up like sheep in a pen like you had up in the north there, they can definitely inoculate everybody. And what a great day that will be. Yes. I so, mean, the only, you sorry. know, the only good thing is maybe they just inoculate the dumb people, and the dumb people stop breeding. That would be great, but we know that won't happen. So, and, and that's my 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 fear because uh, they have the excuse now. We here in Italy, for example, they uh, they call this tampon or something like this. Which, for example, if someone right. in your neighborhood or in your uh, building has uh, uh, is positive, uh, they have the excuse to test all of you in that building. And, mm-hmm. and, uh, and they can, uh, you know, just come out, you know, Close the whole look, building. look, you are a dissident and um, you look very ill to me. Okay, come with me. Come, I will quarantine you and, and, and I will take care of you. Come on. Sure. I will cure, cure you of, of this virus. And, and so, uh, in, in my opinion, the first to be uh, targeted will be, uh, uh, you know, amongst the, uh, the other sheep, you know, but they, what they really fear are people that are telling the truth, for example. 
And, and so mm. that's the, the terrible thing for me that uh, uh, they will target people that, that talk. But in but at, at the same time, I don't want uh, people to, to be fearful to speak their mind. So, uh, yeah, guys, the, the, what is the, uh, the tactic I, I use to not get uh, feared and to still do these videos, even though I'm right near to Rebibia right now, which is the, the, the uh, Quartier di Roma, no? Rebibia, East Rome. Mm -hmm. oh, there's this huge prison here. Uh, you, you, right. You know, of course. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm really, they can just take him. I would just move like 50, 50 meters and I'm inside there. And so I, I keep doing this because uh, I, I have, you know, th this kind of protection in my mind. Uh, since I, I read the Bible, just like a, I, I was an atheist, but like uh, two years ago or some, something more, I read the Bible and I saw, man, and, uh, you, you can see the, the human nature and everything written in that book. You can see how come people behave the way they behave. It's all written there, you know? And uh, I, uh, and as, 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 as things move forward, you can tell that, for example, in the Bible, it says clearly that we, uh, we are slowly, humanity will never get better as they show to us, you know, that we have, we'll have flying cars and everything will be beautiful in the future. But in reality, everything going, is going uh, uh, bad with, with time, you know? And so, uh, with time, I, I've, uh, my mind uh, tells me that there is something uh, real in that book. And, uh, and my only protection at this point, since I cannot uh, link to people, because it's impossible to, to create a link between us, because we are completely poisoned by our, our enemy, which has divided us in all kinds of ways. And now with this, we are totally divided. And, uh, and, I, and I don't know, from time to time, they, they will uh, start to censor us. And then maybe only emails will function as, as a way to communicate with each other. And maybe we can share our numbers with each other so that we can stay in touch. But the ultimate uh, protection, at least this is for me, this is my humble opinion, guys, is, uh, is God. The, uh, humanity has failed, in my opinion. We had thousands and thousands of years to, to not let so much power to these people so that they can... Uh, and, and we don't even know if this virus is real, not real. But the, the thing is, uh, they can create something uh, which you don't even detect and, and, it, and it, that it's slowly killing you, maybe remotely, you don't even know it. That's what, how much power we're given to them, how much uh, money and, and with our stupidity. So uh, what do you expect at this point? Being the re uh, virus real or not real is not important. We are done in my opinion. And the, the only way that can help us right now is a miracle. Sorry for, the, sorry for not letting you talk. So if you have like... Uh, Oops, oh, we lost. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. So, so uh, I, I scared her maybe. Uh, and uh, let, let me see if she will join uh, quickly. I will. Uh, I, I will let her. You know, say the 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 last words <laughs> because before before execution. Let me see. Uh, she's writing to me. Okay, okay. So I'm just a second, I'm trying to, to see if she will uh, join again or is telling me that that was it. Good talk, uh, okay. Okay, so we can, uh, she, she has little children, so she has to take care of them. So that's all, guys. Thank you for watching. Let's stop this. Stop it here.